Rawr! Greetings and hello there, everyone. It's me, your loader dad, Nooch Too Good, and I'm here today to talk about uh, the Ironhide. Gaj Ironhide. And that's the last time I'll say Gaj, because I'm just going to call him Ironhide. I don't know what Gaj is. I, I tried to Google it, like Gaj and Tolkien. I couldn't find anything except this game, so I don't really know what the deal is. I'm just going to call him Ironhide Mordor. Mordor Ironhide. Let's talk about him. Is he worth farming? What kind of character is he? What's he going to do for you? I have farmed him. Uh, we're going we're gonna to look at his abilities, look at his stats. I have him right now at gear 5, 4 stars in gear 5. And the only comparable character I have right now to really compare him with stat-wise would be Strider. And Strider is 3 stars and gear 6. So we're going to kind of compare the two of them. It's not going to be an apples for apples because they're different star levels. But I feel gear 4 stars, gear 5, 3 stars, gear 6 is about as close as we can get. Now... Let's talk about the, the elephant in the room for most of us, well, for all of us here. You know, what are we farming in guild campaigns? There are trade-offs galore in guild campaigns. If you decide to farm characters in Tier 1, then you're sacrificing the ability materials, the potions you can get to upgrade your abilities, in Tier 2. And then I'll be able to get to Tier 3 here, I think, later today. I'm at level 33 right now. I'll be at 34. Do I even... Is it worth it to... I, I don't know. I'm still working through that and trying to figure it out. But the trade-off for most of you right now is going to be, especially if you're free to play, do you farm Pippin or do you farm Ironhide in Tier 1 of Guild Campaign? And for some of you, do you farm Ugluk? Those are the questions. I don't know about this guy. I don't think, uh, what's his name? Randall Edric. Uh, it's, you know, he's kind of like a normal name, like Edric. Hey, I'm Edric. How you doing? It's Ed I, I don't think he's on the table for just about anybody, but l let's say that probably Pippin is number one. I'm going to see Ironhide's number two and Ugluk's number three for people when they're looking at stuff. And the reason Ironhide might be over Ugluk is you activate him at four stars. Um, he's also going to cover that shadow for you. But Pippin, the thing about Pippin is he can provide healing and support. He gives you everybody might on your team. Gives that, That's offense up for those who might not be familiar with might. Uh, he heals the team. He's a really great support character, let alone, even though he's kind of squishy and doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, these two could not be more opposite. Pippin, who you unlock on the very first try in campaigns, and as soon as you uh, you beat this level, you get Pippin at a, at a one-star level. Either one or, yeah, one-star. Then he starts supporting your team. He gives you might. He heals your team. Uh, he doesn't do any damage. And over here, the guy that's going to unlock at four stars, and he doesn't, do, he doesn't do anything for the rest of the team, but boy, is he a brawler. He's got a bunch of health, a bunch of defense or armor, and a bunch of offense. He's damaging the whole other team. He is a menace. So which one should you do first? I think there's going to be some personal uh, personal choices here. I'm going to say this for me. I bought the Halberad pack, and Halberad is also a healer and also a tank. He's a healer and a tank, so I am no longer in need of Pippin on my team. I'm using Halberad, which freed me up to, f to farm the Ironhide. So that's it for me. I think if you're farming, if you can buy the Halberad pack, you should do that and maybe not even bother, not even work really hard on Pippin at the beginning. Just start working on Ironhide. But if you're not able to buy the Halberd pack, I kind of think Pippin will actually fit into light and dark side teams for you. That doesn't help you with the shadow missions, but it will help you. I don't know. I don't know if that's helping anybody out, but that's that's where I'm falling on it right now. We'll have more to come on that. Like I mentioned in my, my I had a day one farming guide, which will pop up there right now. Day one farming guide. Um... And I said in there, we'll probably be redoing this every month. You know, I'll probably be redoing a farming guide, maybe even every two to three weeks. I don't know. We're going to be doing a lot of farming guides here at the beginning because we're going to make mistakes. We're going to learn. It's a new game. We're going to find out what the best path is, etc. Now, let's talk about the Ironhide. I unlocked him. He's at four stars. I got him to level 33. It's my max level. Got even a couple of extra gear pieces above gear tier five. But what are his abilities? Number one. The Spear Bash. Attack the target enemy for 130% damage. If the character's below 50% health, another 40% damage on that. And you can see the bonus damage for that under, under health goes up as you upgrade these abilities. And down here's what I'm talking about. Do you sacrifice these to get the characters? I'm not sure. I'm working through it. I'm working through it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, now, nah, there's that second one. Taste of Iron. Attack all enemies 
for 135% damage and dispel one boon from each enemy. So there's the first AoE. AoE, attack on everybody. That's how I've always said it. I don't think that's what it means. Attack on everybody. It's it, There's a different meaning for it. Tell me in the comments what AoE means, because I never get it right. But for me, it's attack on everybody, and he attacks on everybody there. And down here at the bottom, when you get this upgraded, it actually um, is only a four refresh instead of a five. Here is the primary AoE, and you're going to have seen this before the video starts, when he went rar. Uh, attack all enemies for 150% damage and, and an additional 7% damage for Mordor, each ally below 100% health. This uh, verbiage needs to be fixed. Hey, devs! You messed up the English here. Over here it says it right. 30 plus 3% damage per Mordor ally below 100% health. Okay. So, if you have other Mordor allies and they're taunting or they're taking damage, what this is going to do is if you put... When, when eventually we put him on a Mordor team, I got none of them yet, so when eventually he goes on a Mordor team, it's going to almost force your opponent to attack him first. And he's got so much armor and so much health because if he's doing it, he could do, if there's four other Mordor allies and they're all below 100% health, so if you've touched any of them, he's going to do an extra 28% damage and here it'll be an extra 40% uh, damage and down here it'll be an extra, holy cow, 80% uh, damage. So it's gonna be interesting when we get that Mordor team leveled up, how he went, man, that's making me wanna go get a Mordor team now. But I don't want to spend anymore. It's been a rough sp anyway. Uh, so those are his abilities, and of course, oh, well, there's more here. Uh, he's a child of Mordor. He gains 10% armor and 5% max health, and every upgrade you get here, armor, armor, max health. So he's gaining all this, gaining all this armor and max health. And down here at the bottom, he takes 20% less damage from enemies with daggers, staff weapons, and 25% more damage from enemies, and gains 50% max health and damage, but loses 10 speed. So this is the, the, all the giants, all the large characters in the game have this on them. Now, one note, in your team, you can only carry one large character, but they become very, very important to your roster, especially with all those extra health and armor upgrades and everything else, and I jumped out too soon. Let's look at his stats. I'm going to compare these to Strider in a second. So... Health, 70, and, and again, this is on an island, so you can't really, we don't know until we compare it right. Um, health, 77, 78, damage, 74, armor, there it is. Let, that's that's all the, the stats. Let's let's pop those stats up over here on the left side right now. They're going to come over my face, uh, and not really. If I put my face over here, now it's, now it's just kind of to the side of my face. Uh, I'm going to pull up Strider. So as I mentioned, I got Strider at three stars. Actually, I'm sorry, let's drop that health off. Um... I'm in the future now. <laughs> I made a mistake. So I'm going to go through Strider's abilities first. I just want to show here, Strider is my best comp. He's a three-star Gear 5 character. He's at a very close uh, uh, power level. He's 1,900. The, the Ironhide is 1,800. He's doing, it's a very similar basic attack. This one is, is a one target, hit him three times, and leave burning attack. So this is doing more damage than one target. This is his AoE, which leaves 130% damage. And this, he does gain some armor and some crit chance. The biggest difference we see with, uh, with, with Strider is he doesn't get those health bonuses. Doesn't get the extra 25% health. There's, uh, there's also armor in there. It's not, there's armor and health that's not built into Strider's, Strider's kit. So let's pull let's pull up his stats again. I'm, I'm in the I was in the future there. I, I I transported myself to the future with my flux capacitor on uh this side on this side eh, closer to me. You're gonna see Ironhide stats on that side. You're gonna see Strider stats again. This is my best comp I've got. It's gonna show how awesome Strider is while also showing the differences with with Ironhide. And again, remember Ironhide's getting a bunch of armor and health b b bonuses that Strider's not getting. So health. 7778 for the Ironhide and 7115 for Strider. That's a 10%, that's 10% extra health on 9% uh, on, on Ironhide, plus the extra, I think, 15% he gets, and, and he gets a lot of extra health and stuff there too. Damage. Actually, Strider's got the 10% advantage there on damage. One note, Strider has one AoE, whereas the Ironhide has two AoEs. So Strider will be, fo like his, his uh, burning ability was focused on one character and hammer them three times, whereas the Ironhide on two different abilities is going to run directly through the other team and damage everybody over there. So a lot more overall damage, overall damage is a huge advantage to the Ironhide because he's going to be damaging uh, four more characters more often, I guess. You know, you know, you get the idea. All the characters more often. Armor 491 for Ironhide, uh, 472 for Strider. That's about a five percent damage. I don't know the impact of that. It's, it's. I, I think it's actually somewhat significant because I know when I dial in on the Ironhide, 
uh, man, it takes a lot longer to get through them than it does, take, does to get through Striders. So it's tough to measure that, and I don't really know how to measure that in the game so far. Focus and Resistance is both the advantage go, goes pretty significantly to Strider here. Now, Strider does have the focus is how you're going to land that burning that he does. The resistance is how he resists, you know, those boons, that, those banes that come in. Um, I don't know. Since Ironhide is really all about damage and survival, you know, that, that's a trade-off you get for him there. Speed, Strider's faster. Uh, block chance is zero for critical chance, etc., etc. There you go. So, when we compare them, it's, it's, it's pretty much what you expect it to be. The Ironhide has a lot more health. Not a lot. Has more health. More armor, damages everybody, does more damage, gets a bunch of max health bonuses here, um, gets a bunch of armor and health bonuses here. So he's going to be a lot beefier. He doesn't taunt. He's going to be a lot beefier than Strider. Now, for the final test, let's go test these guys out in Arena. I've got, I think I've got a mirror team here we're going to fight. Um, you see, I'm still struggling in Arena. I'm trying to get up to Silver right now. Okay, I'm going to run a mirror to this. He's 85-61. Uh, my Strider is bigger than his, but my Ironhide is a little bit smaller. So 8561 for this guy, and mine is 8182. Let's run. Actually, it's not a mirror. I've got Halberad, where he's got Aothane. I'm sticking with Halberad, because uh, they're both about. Actually, if I pumped in Aothane, that would give me a little more. But I'm going to stick with Halberad, because he's going to taunt. It gives me a little extra heal as well, although I lose crit chance. Let's just let's just run a straight mirror. Let's do it. Straight mirror. We've got the uh, leadership ability with Aowen. Let's go and see what happens here. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I haven't played this guy before, so taking quite a risk, Lord Vader. I'm taking a risk here to show you guys what's going to go on here. Now we got to get. Uh, let me think about this. I want to. I'm going to go after Strider first. Okay, I hit Aomer there, and he did a 1300 crit. No crit there. I don't have... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and AoE with Strider. Okay, that's... Okay, there we go. So his, his crit actually did more damage on the Ironhide than it did on Strider. Now I'm going to taunt. There we go. He's going to taunt as well. Ooh, I can get some bonus shots in here on Strider. Let's go do that. So my Aomer is a little... Is faster than his, which means my Aomer has... Is, is more upgraded than his. Now... This is where the AoE comes in big. We hit everybody. Strider takes the damage. The extra little Rohan guy. Now his guy killed my Rohan guy. That's a big difference right there. Now let's see. I'm not going to be able to take out Strider here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out the Rohan attacker. This will take out Strider. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. And have a nice day. Let me give you a crit. There's a crit there. A crit there. Nice. Not You don't get a ton of damage from My Strider is still alive. His is gone. I'm going to try to take out... We got counterattacks on all of them. I've only got one counterattack. He's got them all over the place. I'm going to hit the place that's going to hurt me the least right now. Oh, I, I thought I was using Strider. I was using Aomer. Um, Man, my Aomer's taking damage. I'm hurting for certain, everybody. Let's do it. Let's go one-time speed. Get ready. Roar! Here he comes. The Ironhide rolling through with his shield. How'd that do for me? Uh, I didn't see the damage numbers. I'm not really liking this so far. I'm taking some beatings, my friends. Come on. I need some... I need... Did I... Ch I think I did the wrong thing when I attacked Aothane with Aomer. And I actually was... I was... Oh, no. So, wrong turn order for there. I gotta figure out this turn order better and, and let you guys know how it goes. Okay. She's gone. But I got problems here. Aomer's got to go, and I'm going to lose this battle because, now this is interesting, the AI is better at turn meter at choosing the right targets than I am. So I'm going to have to learn this turn meter. But I think you get the idea of, uh, well, <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play something for you here in a minute that you haven't seen it yet. You'll enjoy it. So uh, the AI outplayed me there. There you go. Looks like meat's back on the menu, yes, yes. Uh, Nooch too dumb. <laughs> Nooch too dumb. Nooch too dead. There we go. I'm dumb and I'm dead. 
But I got to show you how the iron hide worked. You got to see it a couple times there. There you go, everybody. Should you buy, play the, buy the iron hide or not? Should you find the iron hide or not? I'm going to leave it to you. I think once you get a pip it up to a certain level, maybe you should get going on it. If you purchased Halberd in the shop, that may be your choice. Maybe I should have gone with Halberd in that team. I might have been better off. I'll have to try it out in the future and let you know how it goes from there. Hey, have a great day. Let me know how your uh, how your roster is going. Have you farmed the iron hide? What's it looking like for you? Let me know what the right turn, uh, who what the right kill order is there. I'd like to know because I feel like I was ahead and then I just fell behind. Everybody, have a great day. Talk to you soon. And of course, always remember, Nooch too good.